Hi guys, I'm John. I'm the uh, founder and chef of Filthy Buns. Um, I've been a chef for the last 25 years, and for the last 12 of those, um, I've held exec, exec chef positions in some rather large high street brands. Oh, I'm Deb, sorry, I was just listening to John. Uh, I've been in marketing for the last 15 years. I've been working in marketing and publicity for big food and drink brands, everything from Asda and Walmart to something a little bit more spicy. I've just finished working with Tabasco sauce. <laughs> Uh, filthy Buns is a fun, filthy, flavoursome, <laughs> flexitarian <laughs> dining experience. We're a new burger brand that has no rules, but we just got one condition, and that's that we create banging burger combinations. We've taken Filthy Buns down 50-50 vegan to meat path. Our burgers are bigger, fresher, filthier. Our sauces, pickles, and vegan patties are made in-house. Our buns are baked fresh every day. Our beef patties are sustainable and traceable. <laughs> our burgers look as good as they taste and taste better than they look. Um, we know our consumer. We know that they are high consumers of social media. So we have made sure that social media has been a part of our business from day one. We make sure that everything is fully photogenic. It's every bun that comes out of the kitchen is fully Instagrammable. We've had loads of buzz on social media. We've had buzz in the press. We've had Instagrammers coming through the door sharing our buns weekly. The new bun we launched last week literally got shared across multiple accounts and got 15 likes. 15? 15,000. 15,000 <laughs> likes in just one week. <laughs> um, our brand, it can work as a standalone restaurant. It can work as a, in a food hall. It's got delivery for, um, yeah. potential for delivery, franchising. Uh, a lifestyle brand, bottling the sauces, um, clothing, streetwear. You know, street As modeled by John. <laughs> <laughs> uh, recipe books. Uh, we've looked at the whole thing and, and we think there is a great potential for that throughout the whole course of it. Filthy Buns appeals to all generations and walks of life. It's a great fun brand. It's current, it's relevant, it's Instagrammable, profitable. And above all, it's fucking tasty. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Well done, guys. So, Robin, what do you think? Um, <clears throat> well, I, I, I looked online. I did it all, all the uh, uh, people this afternoon. I, I mean, I, you're, you're, you've got a pretty good Instagram following, and you've got some fantastic um, online accolades for your, uh, your events business. I'm, I'm intrigued. What, what, who do you see as your competitor in, in this space? Who's the competitor? Yeah, and why are you different? That would be my second question. Um, why are we different? No, we think about our combinations. We, we, you know, a lot of competitors out there, they're, they're taking the burgers, they're buying their sauces, and they'll just put together your average burger. Yeah. Um, we think about, we're thinking about the combinations. We'll take, like our recent burger, the Millionaire Short Rib. We've taken the idea of a millionaire's shortbread, so the caramel, the biscuit, and all that, and converted that into a burger. So you have sweet, savory combinations, and they all work throughout. Um, it's trying to get that umami flavor to come through, so every bite, you're just, it's taking over your body. There's also a lot of American cheese out there. There's lots of Americana burgers. There's lots of fake processed meat. We know that Instagrammers and social media and you know, millennials are traveling the world. They're inspired by global tastes, global flavors. They want something a bit more. They want something a bit more indulgent. They want something tasty inspired by their travels, and we're using a lot of that inspiration to go into our recipes. So we've got everything from chicken katsu burgers to... Millionaire yeah, short ribs. We've got, you know, everything. It's not just kind of anything but ordinary. Okay. Anything goes. No rules. Okay. That's Thank you. Clear. Okay. Oh, sorry. Um, so, sorry. So, two questions. Number one, who is your competition? As I mean, as you see it, and what are you looking for? Who's our competition? I mean, everything on the high street is probably our competition. What uh -huh. burger brands? Pardon. What burger brands? What burger brands? Um, I'd say there's a variety of different ones in East London and London that people are looking at. There's people like Burger and Beyond. There's okay. people like Laban who are kind of very similar to us with like residencies and building brands that way. There's Tucker Burger who's on the street food. You know, we see lots of people talking about their favorite burger brands. They've got a top five. Sure. We're, we're trying to get to be number one. Okay. Right. What, do you, and what do you want? What are you looking for? What are we looking for? Well, that was my part of the pitch, but we just ran out of time. Um, so we're just here today. We saw this fantastic opportunity. We really want to scale and grow the business. We're really excited about it. We just think there's something, something in it. We're just looking for some advice, some mentoring, some guidance. You know, if you want to come with a big bag of 50 pound notes, that'd be great too. But really, we're just looking for some expertise, how we can kind of now scale it. Contacts, I think, is really good. Um, but yeah, we're just looking at what, what's next. Great, Henry. 
Um, you're the first one, Debbie, who didn't look at their notes, so you're pulling off your marketing uh, <laughs> capability right here. So, uh, I'm trying. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice to see. Makes, makes you come across a bit more confident about what you're saying, so well Thank done. Thank you. Um, how did you two get together? I think it's important in partnerships, especially Tinder. in this business. <laughs> Sorry, Tender. Tinder. Yeah. Tender to start a restaurant. A a swipe brand to new, the right. uh, <laughs> in marketing terms, a lucky swipe right brought us together over our love of street food and burgers. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. That's great. Uh, and you have one restaurant now, yes? Yes. Is that what I understand? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, have a, we have a burger residency within a pub. So, the, um, so at the moment we rent space within a pub. Okay. And that's turning over a good, good amount of sales each week. And it's just give, it's giving us a chance to, to, to throw the brand out there. And, and at the moment, the reactions have been fantastic. So yeah, it's completely self-funded. We don't want to kind of open up a bricks and mortar without a following. We want to build the brand, build a following, build a community. So when we do open the doors to something more established, we've got people that are going to come through the doors. Great. Thank you. With your experience in marketing and what you've created, and you've already been accepted, as you call it yourself, um, and with all that, that followers driving you and then being behind your brand, that to me it looks you, you need to open very fast your first restaurant. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> well, I mean, you, you've tried it, you're doing a pop-up. Yeah, it's, it's, it's popular, we're getting a lot of interest. I understand, interest, yeah. you, you search advice and advisors to come on board to help you, but with the knowledge and the energy you guys have, you must be able to, to now launch your first. Possibly. It's, <laughs> it's, it's yeah. the route we want to go down. We want to go down delivery route as well, um, because then you, you can build up your catchment area, build up a bit more following from it as well. Uh, the, product, the, the product travels well, we've already tried that. So it's, yeah, there, there's, there, there's multiple routes we can go down. That's what I'm saying. It's not just uh, a, a standalone restaurant. There is, there's so many other avenues that and we can And I guess it's just taking. guidance to help us and which is the right, but I guess this model is there is no right or wrong. You can take it where you take it, don't you? Yeah. It's, it's, all, it's yeah. all about the quality of the product as far the, as... The thing you tried was a real pop-up, what you did. Residency. Yeah, residency. Res yeah. 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 yeah, seven days a week. It's all evenings and weekends. Yeah. And that was successful. Yes, it's very successful. Yeah, it's going very well. That's good to hear. For a small little pub in Dalston, it's, it's doing well. Right, well, that's your time's up. So congratulations, you. you've done it. Thank you. Thank you. Well done.